Hello everyone, my name is Lynn Schrader and I empower men and women to step outside of their comfort zone and begin living a life they could have never imagined. And I love to ignite a fire and a passion in people who are ready for a change. Uh, today on the video, I want to talk about how to calendar block your week or time block your week to be more productive. Um, do you feel overwhelmed by your calendar as much as I do at times? Uh, are you controlling your calendar or does your calendar control you? Uh, I had to ask myself that question, oh, a couple of years ago because I was feeling extremely overwhelmed uh, by the things to do on my calendar. And I decided that I needed to take uh, take the bull by the horns and start controlling my calendar. So I came up with, it's nothing new, but I adopted this calendar blocking system and it has worked wonders. Um, I am a business owner. I own two businesses. Um, I have a very large team that I'm in uh, sort of a leader over. I have a coaching business. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, and um, I'm just a very busy person. So time blocking, calendar blocking, really gets me organized and, and it helps me to become more productive. So what is calendar blocking or what is time blocking? Calendar blocking is really just a place to dump your events, your task, and your jobs, and you keep them in one spot. It's it's taking your calendar and using the blocks to space out your routines. Now, you can do this digitally. Digitally, uh, Google Calendar is one app that I know of. I know there's dozens of other ones. However, I am a paper pencil person, so I am old school and I have a calendar that I bought that works perfect perfectly for me. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that calendar in a little bit, but let me first tell you the how-tos to time block and how to really, really get yourself organized and be more productive. Now, the first thing that you really need to do is to simply make a short or a long list, you get to decide, of the things that matter to you that you do every day that are, are, are just, there's things that no matter what you do every day and start making a list. Now, put that list to the side and take your calendar, whether it's digital or a, a paper pencil calendar, and begin by writing the time you want your, to, your day to start to the time you want your day to end. Now, I'm a big proponent of having quiet time in the morning. So um, I know for me personally, I cannot grab my phone right away. There's so many things that happen if I grab my phone immediately in the morning, it does not start me off on a, on a good note. So I'm just gonna put that out there that put your beginning time, put your ending time, but always know that I'm a huge proponent of not grabbing your calendar or not grabbing your phone immediately. You need your brain, you, you owe it to yourself to let yourself ease into your day and really talk about what's on, you know, talk and get things figured out in your brain uh, before you begin your day. So second thing to do is to put on your calendar the beginning time and the ending time. Now number three is to just simply begin filling in your routine of your day. The things that you do daily, no matter what. It's just non-negotiable. Do you go to the gym? I am a uh, I am a daily gym goer. That's something that I will not negotiate because I know that if I want to take care of other people, I have to take care of myself first. So going to the gym is a non-negotiable for me, so that is always part of my routine. So Begin placing your routines. Is it going to the gym? Is it carpooling? Is it driving to work? Is it um, dinner time, lunch time, the time you go to church? Start plugging in those times because that's part of your routine, okay? So number four, number four is to begin adding activities that don't necessarily happen 
the same time every week. Those might be sporting events, um, meetings that you have, uh, phone calls that have been scheduled that aren't the same time. Begin plugging in things that make your business or your day run. For me, I know that there are certain days of the week that I need to be working with my team. There are certain days of the week that I need to coach my coaching clients. There are certain days of the week that I set aside uh, that I have to do my marketing for myself. So begin plugging those in. Number five, number five, this usually happens on the weekend for me. Uh, I take 20 minutes either Saturday or Sunday that allows my week to go by and I know what I didn't get done and that's gonna have to swing over to the next week. So Saturday or Sunday, I take about 20 minutes and I begin prepping my next week's calendar. I begin prepping, I begin filling in those routines, those uh, activities, those non-negotiables. Okay, number six. Number six is what something that you do every day, and I do it every day before I go to bed, is I review my calendar. I look over what I got accomplished, what has to slide to another day, and frankly, what, uh, what I did correctly, what needed room for improvement, and, and all of those things. I review it, I reflect. I think a time of reflection is really, really important. So I do that at the end of the day. So those are the six basic steps of calendar blocking, time blocking. Um, I know when, when I coach people on my team, they've got to have things that they, that they set out on the calendar or else they are going to really, really begin to procrastinate because it's easy to procrastinate when you don't have things written down. They're going to make excuses because it's easy to make excuses when you don't have things written down. And uh, frankly, flying by the seat of your pants really, really, really doesn't work. So what I do is I have a paper pencil calendar and I, instead of, you know, when you go digital, you can color code on, on your computer. I buy a pack of uh, markers, different colors, and I've color coded my activities. And I know that on Mondays, Mondays I have a coaching client and I want to give her uh, my attention. So I block out a, a space. Another thing that I do on Mondays is I volunteer at my son's high school. I do that twice a month. Always, uh, sorry about that, I had a call. That is always written on there. Tuesdays, I devote to my business, my planning, my social media, my videos. I block that out on Tuesdays and I know that I'm not gonna schedule anything else. On Wednesday, I have a personal coach that I work with, and I know that she and I are gonna talk for a chunk of time in the afternoon, and I'm gonna devote that. That's non-negotiable because I know that I need my business and my, uh, my business is to grow. And then number Thursday, uh, excuse me, on Thursday, I know that I've got to reach out to, to new clients. I've got to follow up with older clients and I have to work from a list. And then on Friday, on Friday, I work with a group of people that is a, a every Friday, I'm on the phone with them. And then uh, Friday is also just a catch up day. So that's a snapshot of what I do on a weekly basis. Now, let me add this, that there's a certain day of the month, usually to the end, where I have devoted to go through uh, any bills that I've paid uh, for my business, any expenses, any uh, whatever that might be. The things that I need to turn into my accountant, I do that on a certain day of the week. And then the last thing that I wanna share with you is uh, there's a wonderful, wonderful app called Calendly where uh, people can schedule things with me and I block that off as well. So I know that I can receive phone calls and appointments through Calendly. So I hope you got value out of this. If you are wanting to get organized, to get productive, whether you are a business owner uh, or just the manager, and I shouldn't say just, or you manage your household, 
calendar blocking, time blocking has been so effective to me. It helps me not feel like I'm a hamster on a hamster wheel, not sure all the things that I've really accomplished. It uh, not only does it make me productive, but it makes me see uh, you know, it makes me see how well I'm doing or where I can improve. So I hope you got some value out of this. If you know somebody that really needs help with getting themselves organized and becoming productive, share this video with them um, or drop their names in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. If you've got, if you've got a suggestion on being productive and being organized, hey, drop it in the comments below because I am always a student of other people and I'd love to find out what you do to help run your world effectively. Thanks so much for watching.